Hey guys, it's Theo Giovanni here. As you can see, I have something new. This is what I was doing during uh, my quote-unquote hiatus, as I called it. I wasn't really taking a break. I was working on some of these. And these are the arcade vinyl figures that came out, I believe, last year or the year before. I don't know. It's hard to remember, honestly. Either way. Well, they came out. They came out early, but I got them late due to the financial problems. And my area I couldn't find them, but now I did. And now that I got some financials coming in, I guess, I can buy some more. And I decided to customize some of them. So I made all the Nightmare Freddies into Freddles. Or, you know, Nightmare Fredbear Freddle. They're not really Freddles, they're just Nightmare Freddy. But, you know, Shadow, Nightmare Shadow Freddle. Phantom, Nightmare Phantom Freddle. Uh, Nightmare Freddle version one from, you know, based on Nightmare. And... Uh, Red Redo is what I called him. Oh, you can call him Red Bear Freddo. It doesn't matter to me, honestly. It's been so long. I really don't care at that po at this point. Either uh, either way, let's look at the first one, which is <coughs> Fred Bear Freddo. Now, when I first saw these came come out, everyone thought this was, including myself, these were Freddos because they look just like one. However, the Freddos that we see, there's three of them. One of them does have a bow tie, but it's a lot bigger than this one. There's no tear right here. So this is technically not really a Freddle. I don't know if I say that in my review, when I reviewed the original paint to these, but it's not really a Freddle, but you can call it that. It doesn't matter to me. Overall, this was the hardest one to do, obviously, due to the paint. Uh, yellow's pretty hard to work with. The muzzle, the sunny day part was pretty easy. I was debating on painting the fingers like the tips of the fingers, the teeth, and the endoskeleton, exposed endoskeleton, but it would have been much of a hassle, too much for me, honestly. But I like how he came out overall. I did try to take these apart, but they do not come off. They're one solid piece, so it would just rip off. It can't be taken apart. I know it looks like it can, but trust me, it cannot. I've already tried. I like how he can, these came out overall. Okay, here's the next one, which is Nightmare Shadow Freddy or Freddle. Again, simple thing. I borrow the same color scheme I did with the Nightmare Freddy action figures that I did customs a long time ago. Um, I'm running out of the Royal Violet, so this one took a little bit longer. I had to go buy some more. And where I'm at, the Walmart's about 30, 40 minute drive, honestly. At least where I'm at as of recording this video. But overall, it was pretty, you know... Easy. I didn't really paint the top hat, I didn't really need to, I just glossed over it. Or, I didn't paint the eyes of course, or the nose or anything like that. I just left it as is, because uh, there's really no need to. Next one we have is Nightmare Phantom Freddy, or Freddo. Again, same thing. Just painted over him with palm leaf and black. I was debating on using another color scene, because at the time I didn't have palm leaf, but... I went to Walmart again, 30, 40 minute drive um, to get some more because I wanted to try to keep it as original as I did the other action figures. And honestly, I compare these to the little ones. Maybe I'll do that in the future, but I can't find those little Freddles anymore that came with the Nightmare Freddy. I can't find them. They're so small. I don't know what happened to them. They're somewhere. I just don't know where. Again, I did the same thing. Didn't paint the top hat. Didn't really need to. This is pretty much the easiest one. And next one we have is Nightmare Freddle. Again, um, I was debating on painting the eyes white, nah, black, nah, well, black and red, honestly, but uh, it didn't really look right. I wanted them to be kind of the same. I didn't want one to have a different, you know, color scheme. If that makes sense. I know I did that with the action figure, but, you know, I've changed my mind about this. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I don't know. I wouldn't hold my breath on it. The hardest part was, of course, the hat. Because it took a lot of coats to, you know, apply. Especially the bow tie as well, since it's so small. You can see. Oh, I didn't mention the hardest part about all this was trying to paint underneath the chin. Especially on some of these, not all of them. Mainly those three. Uh, he was somewhat difficult. He was just the easiest one overall. And also, I was debating on painting over the fingers, like the endoskeleton, but I decided to leave it as is. I didn't want to, you know, completely painted it. It wouldn't look right to me. At least to me, that is. And last but certainly not least, we have Rettle, or Red Bear Frettle. 
Again, same thing as the uh, <coughs> custom action figure, same color scheme. He was pretty, honestly, I don't know why, he's pretty, like, he's like eye candy to me. Him and Shadow Freddle, I don't know why. Something about them, it just catches my eye, but I'm pretty sure all these cap capture someone's eyes in their own way. I don't know why these two stand out. I guess it's just the color scheme of it is. That, that's just me, honestly. Okay. So now I'm gonna get the paint that I paint these with to show you guys. Of course, it's the same thing as the custom Nightmare Freddy action figure, so it's not gonna be any difference. For this one, Red Bear Freddle. I use bright yellow for the whole body. Sunny day for the muzzle and inner ears and the stomach. And I use purple iris for the top hat. And for Nightmare Shadow Freddy or Freddle, I used royal violets. And again, purple iris. Um, if you don't have royal violet, I recommend using a darker purple, like maybe purple pansy. Honest, I don't have that paint with me, but that's the name of it. It's called Purple Pansy. That's sort of the name. I recommend using that as a last resort if you can't find a Royal Violet. And for Nightmare Phantom Freddy or Freddo, I just use Palm Leaf. You can see. If you don't have this color, I recommend using sh New Shamrock. It's more brighter, but again, you know, I use that as a last resort if you can't find this color. And of course, black. You can use black or jet black. Either one, there's not really a difference, at least to me. If you use something like pavement, it's gonna be a big difference, especially when you see it in the light. You'll see a big difference, at least when I look at it. And for Nightmare Freddo, uh, again, black. You could just use jet black. I don't recommend you use pavement if you want to, but he'll probably look a little bit more like, I guess, lefty, but if Lefty had a yellow hat and bow tie instead of red. And of course I used bright yellow for the top hat and bow tie. And for Rettle or Nightmare, Fre Nightmare Red Bear Frettle, I use bright red. If you don't have this color, I recommend using red apple for, or for the muzzle and stomach. I recommend using that in the inner ears as well if you don't have a bright red, but this is pretty easy to find, honestly, at least to me. And Tuscan red for the whole body. If you don't have this, just use Barn Red. Barn Red's a lot darker. That's what I used for one of the Rockstar Phantom Foxy, Foxy Custom I used. I used uh, Barn Red instead of Tuscan Red. I believe I used Barn Red, I can't remember, it's been a while. Either way, I recommend using that as a last resort if you don't have Tuscan Red. So yeah guys, that's been my look at Nightmare Fre Fredbear Freddle, or Fredbear Freddle, Nightmare Shadow Freddy, or Freddle, Nightmare Phantom Freddy, or Fred Freddle, Nightmare Freddle, and Rattle, or Nightmare Fredbear Freddle. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more. Bye. Oh, and also, there'll be some more. Just give me some time to edit the videos, okay? Bye.